Now we've had a look at some of the very basic objects and uses for those objects within Max. I'm going to show you the very basics of getting MIDI into your patch so you can hook it up to your MIDI keyboard and get some actual sounds out of what we've been making so far. The two main objects you're going to need to know when using MIDI are the note in object and the note out object. They both have three outputs or three inputs in the case of note out. Um, they do exactly the same thing, but one's an output and one's an input. So the first first output is pitch, second is velocity, and third is the MIDI channel. So as we go on, I'll just be explaining a bit about what each of these things do and what they're used for. So I'm going to show you another object now which is the K slider. This just represents your keyboard and again you can see it's got a number of inputs and outputs. Now you just need to take the two first outputs of the note in object and connect them to the two inputs on the keyboard slider. And now if you play your MIDI keyboard you'll see the notes come up on the screen. All I'm going to do to the outputs of the keyboard slider is connect them to the first two inputs of the note out and now if you play your keyboard fingers crossed you should get some sound out so we're going to make it a bit more interesting now by incorporating some of them patches you've made in the previous podcasts like the calculator and the sequence generator so you can either make them again from scratch just for practice or you can just open the other patches and copy them. And there you can see that's that first patch we made where I've used the addition object to create chords. Um, I'm just gonna add a number box in here off of the first input of the key slider um, and if you go up to the left hand side of the object you get a little blue eye come up this is the patch inspector where you can change options independently for each object and there's an option here the very top one that says display format and if you change that to MIDI now as you press the MIDI numbers you see that change we're now going to add our little addition section into the chain of the MIDI note. So if you get rid of this patch cord here connecting the key slider to the note out and in between it all we're going to do is add in our chord but make sure you remember to connect each number box to the note out. And now if you lock the patch and you play one note, you'll notice that these numbers here will change and it will play a chord for you. I've also just copied over the patch from the Metro and Cycle tutorial that we did. So if we get rid of all of the patch chords from the chord and instead attach all of the ones involved in the scale player. We only have to attach the output of the key slider to the input of the very first number but then after that you need to make sure you connect each number output to the note out object. And if we lock the patch again and turn on the Metro object, you'll be able to play one note. Yeah. 
and get a sort of scale player. 